This would be game-changing. Could we see a potential Trevor Zegers trade to Toronto? Also, Ilya Samsonov proves why he should be the starter with the Leafs. So you're not going to want to miss this episode of Hattrick HQ. But first, I just want to say that 84% of you guys aren't subscribed. So if you're looking for a home to daily NHL and daily Leafs content, look no further. Go down below, hit that subscribe button, become a part of the Hattrick HQ community. But with that said, let's get right into the first topic of the video today, which is Samsonov shuts down the Habs. And yes, if you tuned in to the preseason game last night, you would have seen that Ilya Samsonov, through two periods of play, had 17 saves on 17 shots with a shutout against the Habs last night. And obviously, Samsonov had such a great game last night. I know me and Mark have been debating on whether uh, it should be Wall to start or it should be Samsonov to start, but early on in this preseason, at our early looks at both of these goaltenders, I think Ilya Samsonov has shown that he should be the starter. I think last night he made some cr a remarkable saves on some great opportunities for Montreal. And that's what you get with a veteran like Samsonov. He's such a great goalie. I think this year with the Leafs defense uh, the way it is, I think he's going to have a great year back there between the pipes. But I also am... I uh, excited for Joseph Wall as well. I think he'll be a great backup this year. We could potentially see him come in, take that starter role. He did play phenomenal last year in the playoffs with the Leafs. But back to Sam Snuff, I do really think that this guy will be our opening right starter. Might not be a surprise to you. But, uh, you know, it has been debated on which route they're going to go. They also got Martin Jones there, who has looked great in this preseason as well. But last night, Sam Snuff just proven he's the goalie. He's the go-to guy. I think he played a phenomenal game. Uh, he had some great, great saves last night. Uh, some game savers for Toronto. But that's what you get with a guy like Sam Snuff. But we're going to get into our second topic of the video. What everybody tuned in for. And that's for Trevor Zegers to the Leafs. Uh, I know recently on... The Spittin' Chicklets podcast, Matt Murley and Paul B. Sinet, uh, were in a discussion talking about uh, potential Nylander and Zeger swap. And this is what they had to say. Uh, Verbeek, the Anaheim Ducks GM, had a low ball offer. Uh, it's confirmed to Seg to Trevor Zegers. He offered him about 3 to $4 million a a AAV. And uh, Murley said he got that confirmed on good sources. So uh, I know that came out like a week ago. Uh, obviously, it's such a low offer for Trevor Zegers. Or someone who should probably be making seven uh, to eight million dollars, but he also says here, I heard one rumor the Sabers. I like to think Toronto will be in on it too. I could see a Nylander switch right over for Zegers. They also say here, Anaheim would happily pay. Uh, Nylander to the 10 million he wants. Toronto could get Zegers at 7 to 8. And there you go, you got your second line making both teams happy here. And Obviously, when you look at the stats of these guys here, Nylander is obviously uh, the proven player. He's 27 years a of age, still young. You know, he's still got the prime of his career to play. Uh, last year, had 40 goals for the Leafs, uh, his best uh, goal-scoring season of his career. Also had 47 assists, 87 points. Uh, I know... A lot of uh, fans of Toronto are, are a bit nervous right now with the Nylander situation. He hasn't signed an extension so far, but I think we will see it come up in the near future. If not, I know a lot of people have been speculating that he'll be traded, but we're going to compare him here to Trevor Zegers. And Zegers, obviously, 22 years of age, kind of the most marketable player in hockey right now, kind of the poster boy of the NHL with the Michigans and all that stuff. And uh, last year, he had 65 points, 23 goals, 42 assists. Uh, and the year before, he had 61 points. I just think this guy's a great hockey player. I think at 22 years of age, uh, this guy has such potential. And for Anaheim to be offering him 3 to $4 million is criminal. Uh, a guy, a 60-point scorer who's only going to get better over these next, you know, 5 to 10 years of his career. Uh, I think this guy is... the is the next big thing in hockey. Uh, the most marketable guy in hockey, like I said, with the Michigans, all that stuff. And uh, But we're going to get into the trade here. Uh, so if I was the Leafs right now, and you had that Nylander speculation around like that, I know a lot of people would like to see Nylander. I am, I'm just going to start off and say I am a big Nylander fan. I do think Nylander is one of the best players uh, in, the, in the league and on the trial mate plays. I think he's outstanding. But if he's not going to sign an extension, you're going to lose him to free agency next year. If you can make this trade for Trevor Zegers to get him to Toronto for the next five to six years on a seven to eight million dollar deal when Nylander's looking for 10, I think you should try to do it. Uh, I know the trade here is what I'm thinking of. I think 
you probably have to package Nylander with Nas or Robertson and a few picks to get Trevor Zegers, where he's so young and he has so much potential. But uh, I also do think that the Anaheim Ducks are in quite a pickle right now. Uh, I know he's not signed uh, as of I'm recording this today. Uh, Trevor Zegers is not extended or, or not signed for this season. So it's going to be interesting to see what happens down there. But I do believe Verbeek and the Ducks are kind of shopping him around right now, trying to get some value back. And if, you know, the Leafs call him up and say, hey, we'll give you Nylander for Zegers straight up, they might do it because they're... They're just not going to have a second line center or, or their top center for this year because he hasn't signed and they're lowballing him uh, money that they're not he's not worth like that he should be making more you know what I'm saying but uh, I do really think that this is a great uh, be a great trade for Toronto uh, great for both sides really because Nylander could go down there to Anaheim get his ten million dollars or whatever it is he wants and then you know you get your Zegers uh, back up here in Toronto, and he's making seven to eight, but the big thing here that to take note too is they're trying Nylander at the center position this year, so if they're looking to maybe play him at center going into the regular season, and you trade for Trevor Zegers, who is a pure center, uh, I think that's a big thing to note here too, because you're trading uh, Nylander away, you're not giving up a right wing position, you're giving up a center now, so if you get a center back with the quality of Trevor Zegers, I think this could be great for the Toronto Maple Leafs. I know this is all food for thought right now, but I do really like this trade. I think uh, Toronto should definitely uh, reach out and see what they can get for uh, a guy like Nylander. I know they're probably shopping him around a little bit. I know that Tri Living has come out and said that he's a really big fan of Nylander. He, li he likes his game. He likes his personality and all this stuff, but... He does need a contract, you know. You don't want to go into this year and then potentially the Leafs lose again and don't get that cup, and then they're stuck in the same situation that that Chicago team was the year they actually won, but they lost a bunch of guys like Bufflin and all these guys that, you know, they that they needed to be successful, and then they just started on a decline. And I really don't want this to happen to Toronto. I don't want them to go out there, put it all on the line for the cup, and then lose it, and then they're losing guys like Nylander and all these different guys that they signed this year, Domi and Bertuzzi and Klingberg and all these guys. You don't want to lose these guys. You want to extend them, have the money there. And, and that's the other issue with this too. Like Toronto's, I believe... Uh, correct me if I'm wrong here, but I believe they're like three million over the cap right now. So they do have to make some things work, make some moves to get their cap down, so they're not paying uh, fines this season because uh, you don't want that to happen either. But we're gonna have to see what happens here because I think this trade really could clear that cap. Because if you you know get Nylander, uh, he's well this season he'll be making six point nine, I I believe it is, and then. Uh, next year would be when his extension would kick in. Uh, he hasn't signed it yet, but we'll have to see what happens. Because if you're, you know, paying Nylander 6.9 and then you go out, trade him for Zegers, and you sign him for 7, that's not that uh, impactful on the cap, you know. They kind of be in the same situation they are right now. Except they would have that wiggle room next year to re-sign or extend, sorry, uh, guys like... Bertuzzi, Domi, uh, Tavares is up after next year, Mariners up after next year, they do need to move some money around to get these guys back, you don't want to lose a guy like Tavares, you don't want to lose a guy like Mariner, you don't want to lose a guy like Nylander either, but something has to give here, because you can't keep going on with this four uh, stars in the league when they're all getting older and they're all wanting more money now because they're older, they're developed, they're in the league. Mariner's a 100-point player this year, in my opinion. Tavares, obviously, is at towards the end of his career. I'm sure he will take a cut uh, after next year. But you do have guys like Domi, guys like Pertuzzi, who you could sign for the next four to five years uh, for, you know, a 5x5 five five or, or a little bit more than that if they have a good season this year to keep them as your middle six kind of guys. But it's, it'll be interesting to see what happens here. I do really think a Trevor Zegers to Toronto trade isn't uh, that out of the realm of possibility. I think we could definitely see this happen. And if you're a Toronto fan, I think I'd be ecstatic 
if Trevor Zegers came to Toronto. Because you have that guy that you can market. You have that guy who's going to go out there, make those highlight reel plays every night. And it's not just that. He's a great player. He's a great defensive player as well. Great on the faceoffs. A great playmaker. If you threw him on the second line there with, with Domi and Robertson, uh, I mean... That line would be lethal. Uh, you know, you got Domi, who is also another playmaker, and Robertson, who has that shot, and he's so talented. Uh, it, and he just, you know, he's been shocking me here in this preseason early on with his shot. I think that line would be lethal here. Uh, maybe you could see a Nyes uh, up there instead of Domi, and Domi move down to that third line, because I think Nyes is probably the best player in Toronto right now, or early on in this preseason. He's been playing uh, phenomenal for them. But I'd like to hear all your guys' thoughts on this down in the comment section below. Do you think that a Trevor Zegers trade to Toronto is the right fit? Let me know down below. But we're going to get into everybody's favorite topic here comment of the day and the comment of the day today goes to robert robert says a leafs commentary channel that isn't leaf fashion it's a nice change go leafs go uh thanks for the support robert we really appreciate it obviously uh we like to keep it positive over here there's that much negativity going around in the, the hockey world right now that we really don't want to join in on it we, we want to keep things positive because not everything's negative you you learn from your losses you know uh and all that stuff in hockey if you played hockey throughout your life you know that when you lose, you take a big learning experience from that, and I think that's what this Toronto Maple Leafs team has done over the last couple of years, and I think they're going to have a great season this year. Definitely contending for a cup, but we'll have to see what happens. But if you enjoyed the video, make sure to go down below, hit that like button, hit that subscribe button. We're trying to hit 2,000 subscribers, so if you go down, hit that subscribe button. We really appreciate it. Become a part of our community here. Uh, we love going down the comments, seeing all your guys' comments down there. I know everybody's uh, starting to become friends down there in the comment section, so uh, we shout out all you guys that comment and like all of our videos, but I've been KC, keep your stick on the ice.